Yes, welcome back. We're still doing translations, which is a type of transformation. And I have sketched uh, an object A, which is, as you can see, uh, a triangle. And I have three images after a particular translation. And the question is, what is the column vector which belongs to each translation? Yeah, so I have three of them. Okay, what is the column vector belong to it? Well, let's do this one first. Um, so this point corresponds with that point. So I'm just going to count now. One, two, three, four, five to the left. And two up. So five to the left, so minus five. And two up, yeah? Because if we're going to the left, that is a negative translation, yeah? Let's just check that for, for instance, this point, five to the left, two up. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Indeed, it's gonna bring me over there. So that should be all right. Now this one, what is the column vector there? Let me put it here. Uh, let's do that point for a change. It goes one, two, three, one, two, three, down. So minus three, minus three. Let me check that for this point. If I go one, two, minus three, one, two, minus three. Fantastic. Now, the last one, what is the column vector belonging to this particular translation? We'll do that point. It goes one, two, three, four to the right, so a positive, and zero up and down. Let's have a look for that one, if that is true. One, two, three, four, zero up and down. Translations, single column vectors. Have a look at my playlist on vectors if you need more information. But now it's time to do some enlargements. All right, I'll see you there.